Hey, welcome back everyone, Tevelink05 here, bienvenidos a mi canal. So today's quest video is for 8 doors, a room's adventure in the afterlife. There are 3 hidden perks you can unlock by doing 3 side quests. I'll be telling you where to start the side quests and how to complete them, and a few information about the perks, what benefits each of them have. The first quest will be in the Ice Mountain, is this character here. The quest is for you to defeat 50 specters. So you just go all the way back up and defeat 50 of them. Every time you defeat one, it will show like a percentage of completion, 10%, 20%. When that percentage reaches 100%, go back and talk to him and he will give you a new perk that will be now available for you to unlock. What this perk does is very useful. Every time you pass a small area, you will hear a bell sound telling you there's a secret room here that you could have many times walked by and you really didn't bother to check around that small area. This could be like a treasure chest of normal coins, a statue with a special coin, a soul, or even a hidden room to another dimension or something like that. <laughs> this will really help you if you're like a 100% completionist a lot because there is a lot of coins, a lot of souls hidden everywhere. And some of them do require a little bit of thinking how to enter those areas, but you really need first to find the area to work the puzzle out. Our second quest is in the tavern. You can hear the bell right now singing. <laughs> this character's name is Ratu. I think he's a weasel. He wants you to collect claws from him, the same kind as him. So we're going to go to the underground waterway. There's only a specific type of monster you need to defeat. Is like I mentioned, it's the same kind as him. There are little these little guys that have wooden boxes and are dropping landmines. In this area, I'm gonna show you there's two of them. You just defeat them, go outside the area, re-enter and do this process around five or six times. Once you complete the percentage, go back and talk to him. The perk he will give you will is very useful for boss fights and all around fights with other enemies. We all know that we mostly use the dodge a lot or the air dodge. Every time you do the air dodge, this time whether it is to avoid an attack or a projectile, but you really are dodging the enemy to the other side, you will land now a hit. This is very, like I mentioned, very useful if you're gonna make fast use of the of the enemy or the boss with with more damage output because every time we're gonna dodge his physical attack we're also gonna land a hit All right, and the last quest is in the underground waterway. If this video helped you guys in any way, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, drop me up a like, or drop me up a comment. If you have questions about eight doors, I will try my best to answer them. I will have a full wa walkthrough after this video of eight doors with a 90 to 95% completion. This girl we're looking for is called Dusky. It can be tricky sometimes to get lost in here because you don't know what pipe you're gonna pop up at the end. <laughs> Ooh. 
She wants you to find her doll. The doll can only be found where the hidden boss for this area is. So we're gonna go all the way there. After you, I'm gonna show you the way to the hidden boss of this area. After you beat the hidden boss, you need climb the right side of the wall all the way up you will hear now the bell and then just walk 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 all the top of the <laughs> that little edge that you no one really thought you can do that i think <laughs> till you enter a pipe and you enter a new area also that you couldn't enter because there was no way i mean there was no switch Every time you see a wall don't think you can open the wall from the from the outside Sometimes you need to open the wall from the inside. And there's the doll right now. And you just take it all the way back to her. The skill she will give you, or perk, will unlock the sin bar auto refill. This will slowly refill your, your sin bar for your special attacks. It will still refill every time you hit enemies, but this time it will be a little bit more helpful, a little bit more faster because you don't really need to hit the boss to refill the sin bar. It will automatically refill a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, guys, so this is Devilink 05 Sunny now. Hope to see you guys in the next in the next video. Will be the full walkthrough for eight doors, with small commentary just in the beginning. Awesome, you made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to see more gaming and manga videos, please make sure to subscribe and have a great day.